Man, we way out in the boondocks, man. My navigation's telling me that there's a Goodwill out here somewhere, man. We might find Woodbearing before we find Goodwill. This looks like the place Texas Chainsaw Massacre was filmed at. All right, man, fuck this. I hope I don't take a wrong turn out here. All right, if we ever find a Goodwill, we'll start recording again. Hopefully I still got all my limbs. guys so just came out to goodwill and got lucky in the son of a bitch card had just came out started looking through it and as you saw i found the legend of zelda breath of the wild out in the wild and i damn nearly lost my breath 2.99 on that guys complete on to the next one All right, guys, it's half price books sale week where we stomp on little children, push elderly people to the floor. We may hide a game or two, all so that we can conquer the sale. 
Now, 20% off first two days, 30% off Wednesday, Thursday, 40% off on Friday, 50% off on Saturday, or I'm sorry, I'm going to skip a day, 40% off on Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday is a big 50%. We are here, half price bucks. You might have saw earlier in the video, we hit a couple of games on top of a shelf behind a big puzzle. So we're here to see if it's still there, to see if anybody's moved it, anybody found out about it, anybody saw me on camera. So we're going to check it out. We're going to make sure it's still there. And then we're going to look for other stuff. Now they have a three-day reservation here. So I can start, I might be able to reserve something else. They do have some good stuff behind the counter, some decent stuff, but when I checked out on Friday, it was too early. Uh, hence why I hid the NES games, which I can't believe they had those on the shelf. I mean, those generally would be behind a locked glass case for whatever reason they put them on the shelf. Um, what else? So there's some good Pokemon DS stuff. So let's see if we can uh, kind of make some moves in there, maybe a reserve. Because one of the NES games is only $5.99, so I really don't need a big 50% off on that. I could do 30 off on that. I could do 20 on that. Um, but anyway, let's go inside and see what we can do here, guys. Oh, yeah. Half price of both sale week. It's going down. So how are we going to do this? Uh, oh, you got more back there? Yeah. Well, let me look through those, I guess, first. There you go. I think some of them are the Blu-rays. Okay. No, no, no. No. I wish my daughter would love that. Yeah. She likes Twilight. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Oh, he bought it. Home. It's not bought it. And he has this receipt on top of it. He just went to the attorney's station. Oh. Very good. You're welcome. And it was $14.99? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. It was just sitting there. Yeah, so I didn't know. Okay. You can have those back. Okay. I'll, um, oh, thank you for pulling that. I was going to go and Teamwork makes the dream work. Y'all got a ton of cameras in, huh? Yeah. Jesus, I wonder how all that happened at one time. Yo, get as good as mine. It's odd. Let me put the blue rays in there. There you go, put them up to the side. Mm -hmm. So this is a game. PlayStation. Oh, it's a game. Game. Hey there, welcome to Goodwill. Soundtrack. Okay. Hi, welcome to Goodwill. <clears throat> Your shoes are awesome. Yeah. 
these are maybes. I might get these. Okay. You know, one of these in the big box came with a glare glove, uh -huh. which is oh. pretty cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You'd have to put it on if you open that up and saw that glare glove on. Yeah. You'd have to play with it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can't help it. You, okay, you couldn't help it, yeah, for sure. Stack. Hi, welcome to Goodwill. All right, cool. Hello, welcome. Good morning. Hey, how you doing? Right. I'll reserve these. I'll reserve this one for Sunday. Yep. And this one for Saturday. Okay, well, I'll put them together. Okay. And then you can just read from your side. Okay, sounds good. What is your first name? My name is Jeff. With a G? Or uh, J E F F. I'm holding these until the 18th. Just in case it doesn't email you. All right, so it's Saturday, March 17th, and we're about to go inside Half Price Books and take advantage of this 40 off, 40% 40 off sticker or a coupon. Let's go do it, guys. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. Pretty good. Sorry. Yeah, that's good. Don't choke. <laughs> I came back with some sick of stones. I got these broke niggas looking at me like they choking on a chicken bone. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? There you go. Alright guys, I'm gonna fax Anna do in your face, homie. Oh yeah. So paid $3.89 for a very good condition of Fax Anadu, complete in box with the manual, dust cover, the whole nine yards, on to the next one. How you doing, man? Hello. I got another game back here. You do? Yes, sir. Yes. My name is Jeff. It's uh. You can see it. Yeah, it's that wizardry game, the second game on that shelf, uh, next to the book in the end. Yeah, next to that. Yep, that's it. Thank you. Appreciate it. There you are. All right. Thank you. 
Sixty percent. Oh, really? You know, yeah. It's GameStop crazy. does. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not bad at all. Because we bought uh, some Sonic game. He took it home. We paid forty bucks for it. Took it home. Like about four or five days later, he beat it. Then he beat it a second time. Well, oh, okay. And I said, "Hey, you want to take it back?" And he's like, "Yeah." And they give us like thirty-two bucks in credit for well, a forty-dollar game. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I was like, "Oh, okay." That's basically like paying ten bucks to rent it for a week and a half, you know. I guess see what you'll do on that. No, I don't see, I don't see anything else here. I'm gonna go look in the back. Yeah, I got a couple of boxed NES games during the sale. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah, I got uh, Wizardry. I don't know if you remember oh, that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I got um, uh, uh, <laughs> Bananu. Oh, idiot. Bananu. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Here you go. Did okay. you guys see any others come through here during that? Just, did you remember seeing those? Oh, no, I didn't know. I heard week? about them. But. Oh, okay, I didn't know if, they, like, if somebody donated a bunch of NES games. I just saw those sitting on the shelf back there, too. No, I think everything. I got some PS2 games. I think that we like behind some graphic novels. But otherwise, I think oh, yeah. everything else he put out. That's like fifteen bucks at Metroid. Oh yeah, I'll pick that up. I Man, I love that Metroid trilogy. Oh no, I was talking about during. Well, I'll look at those. Yeah, oh. I was talking about during like the the. Sale oh. week, did you see any oh, NES no, boxes Georgia. come in? Oh, you're in Georgia. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I was wondering why I didn't see you that week. Yeah, I was in, I was in Georgia all week, so. For all I know, all, all kinds of cool stuff came in. Yeah, usually when you see those, they're behind the glass, but it was just laying on the shelf back there. I was like, oh, man, that's awesome. Ended up getting 40 and 50% off on them. Well, this so I got some good deal. It starts at like... About 60 or something, but I put it for Oh, nice. Yeah, the only thing it's missing is that slip cover. Yeah, the slip cover, yeah. But, uh, well, that's a sweet deal. And I found a yeah, PS1 game Amazon back there, wants, too. Some dummy on Amazon wants like 200 and something for that. Well, it used to go for that much a while oh, really? back. Yeah. Uh, and then they re released it in a white oh, case. And then it, like, yeah. So, yeah. And there was some deal with uh, GameStop where they were, GameStop would get it in and they would un, they would open it up. And they're trying to sell it like it was new. Yeah. They're trying to trick people thinking that it was this. Yeah. And they're trying to capitalize off of that. And then it came out in the news or some magazine or whatever that it was a re-release. And everybody thought, I fell for it. Because yeah. I walked into a GameStop one day and I saw it. And I was yeah. like, oh, man. holy crap. And I bought it for like sixty nine ninety nine or something like yeah. that. And then I found out that there was a steel case one, the original one. Yeah. So, all right, man, cool. All right, thanks, brother. Yeah. Oh, you don't need another one? Like it's not. Yeah. Hello, how you doing? Good. Yo, Kane, what up? About to chug some five hour old coffee in your face, homeboy. Oh, that's good. Oh, you know what? Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, I just picked up Metroid Prime Trilogy in a steel case for fourteen ninety nine. We bought the steel case in your face, homie. Bam! 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 Bam!
Woo! Red tags yesterday. Oh, for real? Yeah. Now we're doing orange tags. So this has been there for a week? Almost a week. I want to say maybe four or five days. I can't believe I overlooked it. Usually I see black cases and I say, hey, what's inside there? Smash Melee. Three nine nine. Super Smash Melee for the Nintendo Ooh. Got some, well. Welcome to Goodwill. Got, got some scratches, but. Easy fix. As long as it plays. Totally. This one will be 30% off with this. Nice. Well, I owe you for that one. <laughs> you got my bag big time on that one. All right, I guess hold it for me. I'll buy it as soon as I get out of here. Sure. Fist bump. Guys, before we get to the recap portion of the video, I'm bringing something back that I have not done in, in quite some time, and I want to bring it back and continue to do it because I think it's important to shine a light on other YouTubers out there. Now, the sick YouTuber of the month is back this week. Before we go recap this video, I want to announce that person, and that person's name is Kane Deathbreaker. Okay, so... He knows he won something, but he doesn't know exactly what he won. I sent him a letter and a trophy, media mail, by the way. And uh, let's go to him opening that right now. This is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Big award. Big award. I wonder what it can be. Ooh. Yes, I am excited. Tight said I'm going to be getting a big award. I'm so... You? You? You got the... Give me that, jackass! Get out! Cane death breaker. Woo! Woo! What is it? What is this? What is this? Alright, there's a... Alright, well, uh... Sick... YouTuber of the week. I've been nominate. Alright. Uh... I really appreciate this honor. Unfortunately, I can't accept because I'm not sick. I was sick. Very, very sick recently. But I wasn't making videos at the time. So I didn't qualify then. And since I'm better, I mean, this, this is nice. But I don't qualify now because I'm all about good health. I don't want to promote your kind of sickness. I mean, I feel something that... In, Matter of fact, I'm not too happy about being nominated tight. You make me sick. Here's an idea. Why don't you make Power Player Paul your sick YouTuber? He was wearing a dress and lipstick in your last video. Now that's one sick, twisted fuck. God damn. Here's to your help. Jackass. All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the recap portion of the video. Uh, the video is running quite long, so we're going to go ahead and race through this. Probably won't show much video game play because I see a huge mosquito hawk. I'm out here in the garage. The mosquito hawks are out in Texas right now for sure. All right, so let's, uh, let's run it. First pick up here. So you can see in the black case, as the lady said that works at the cash register, this game was there for like four or five days and no one knew about it because it was just basically was like that sitting uh, on a shelf behind the front desk Super Smash Brothers <laughs> Melee $3.99 it does have some uh, scratches on the disc but as long as it plays that's going to be a easy 45 bucks for me loose disc so I can flip that for sure another damn mosquito hawk motherfucker alright next up all four of these titles from uh, from a Goodwill, same spot, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. 
complete. Then we have uh, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkachi. Complete as well. Then we have Katamari Forever. And then the last of those titles is Dragon Ball Raging Blast. All of those games were three dollars and ninety-nine. No, I'm sorry. Katamari was two ninety-nine. Marvel versus Capcom three was two dollars and ninety-nine cents. And uh, I think this was three ninety-nine. And this one was three ninety-nine. So not bad at all for that. Next up. All of these titles were from the same Goodwill. And I'm glad I have that app now. Uh, I told you guys about GameValue.com because I had to look these up because I really thought I had a lot of these titles, but I did not. Ghost Rider, $2.99 on that. Complete. Got some Rage Against the Machine playing in the background. Hope you guys like that. Next up, Monster Jam Crush It. My man Chad, you said this is not a good game. So that'll be an easy flip. Factory sealed. Should be able to get, I paid $4.99 for that, but I should be able to get between $15 and $17. Flipping that. Next title is another one I thought I had, but I did not. Sopranos Road to, or The Sopranos Road to Respect. Complete. Again, that was for $2.99. Then we have SSX on tour. $2.99 on that, complete. And then the last from that Goodwill was a game that I've seen a bunch lately, but I'm not willing to pay four or five bucks for it. Finally got $3.00. Crazy Frog Arcade Racer complete. All right, now let's go ahead and go over the half price book sale week pickups. First title here is Faxanadu, five ninety nine. So I got forty percent off on that, and this is a really crisp and clean box. Not bad at all. I'll go ahead and open this one up for you guys. got the styrofoam in there it's got the official Nintendo dust cover it's got oh I didn't even notice this it's got some kind of uh, cheat codes I always love shit like this I might just post this on my wall in my game room it's got all these different cheat codes on that's really badass I love shit like that it's got the manual and it's got a really rather minty crisp and clean with no caffeine cart there. All right, and the next title that I got the 50% off on, Wizardry, $17.99, so I paid like, I don't know, nine bucks with tax, something like that. The box is not in crazy condition, crazy crisp condition, but not bad, nothing, nothing wrong with it. It's got the flaps there. It's got the styrofoam on the top for some reason, but I think that's the way I put it back. And this is complete as well. It's got a huge fucking manual. So there's the, oh, it's a non-official dust cover. But it's got this really thick manual here. So that came with it. And there's the cart. Looks like it's never been played. I mean, these carts are super fucking minty. Loving it. All right, now... The pickup that, let me see, I don't want to get out of, I want to try to stay organized here. All right, the pickup that started off the video, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, guys. $2.99 on that. It's in rather minty condition. I do not have a Wii U, guys. I'll be flipping that. Obviously, that's the version that's going to be worth even more money one day because it came out on the Switch. 
This is a title that I did not show in my pickups because, you know, I pick up Wii Sports, I think, every video. Uh, it gets kind of old watching it, I'm sure. So, complete $4.99, no, I'm sorry, $3.99. I'll sell that for around 18 bucks, Easy. And then, last two titles here, guys. We have Ridge Racer Revolution. I was happy to see this at Half Price Books for such a cheap price. $3.99 on that. I do not own this. So that is going in the PS1 collection. And then, not that it needs an introduction, guys. But here is one. Tight white, we got this shit. Sick pick of the week. This is a weakest, sickest pick. This pick gon' make you sick. Yes, the sick pick of the week is, and it could have been within, it could have been three different items this week. I had a lot to pick from, but. I am a huge fan. I think this is the greatest first person trilogy of all time. So Switch needs to get their shit together and release the next in the series because I'm excited about it. I'm not buying a Switch until I get it. This goes for between 50 and 60 bucks even without the slipcover. My, my man hooked me up $14.99 on it. It's in very nice condition. It comes with the manual. It comes with the art book. It's got color pictures in there. Look at that. Absolutely sick. All right, guys, yes, an incredible game right there. All right, that's it. I appreciate you guys for checking out the video. You might have noticed that in the car when I was hunting this week, I was playing some music. Some of you might know who that is, and a lot of you might not know who the hell that was, but my man Dan from the Rebel Gaming Club sent me a CD. So that's what I was jamming in the car, and it's very good. Um, I had to give him a call. I mean, I don't think the guy has too much business sense. Uh, so I had, I had a quick talk with him. I said, you know what? This is pretty good, man. You should probably sell these CDs and make some money. And we should create a band. And I even came up with a name. 
the tight white River Rebels. So we're working on that. We're going to take care of that. Uh, other news before I get out of here, guys. Go ahead and check out Kane Deathbreaker. My brother from another mother. He's got a great channel. He's been gone for a while. He's back now. And uh, I highly recommend him. So check out his channel. I'm going to put the link in the description below. And that's about it. My name is Tight White. Now, Craig, you know what your problem is. You have no game. <laughs> what you know about game? I got all the game. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Rather see me laying a hearse than laying a back And I ain't just laying a verse I'm saying the facts I came back with some sicker stones That got these broke niggas looking at me like they choking on a chicken bone